but how exactly did I get this Birkin without a purchase history? Hello everyone, my name is Anya and this is my first YouTube. I've been wanting to start a YouTube for quite some time to talk about my stories of success, of fashion, my travels, how to have it all, how to have the best man, best relationship, and do it in an elegant way. My first video is going to be how to get a Birkin without a purchase history. A Birkin bag is a very iconic piece and an investment piece in every woman's collection and wardrobe. And I've been hearing all in all about a Birkin bag and the difficulty of getting one. In this video, you're going to learn how to get a Birkin without a purchase history and without sales associate connections. So let's get started. So every year on my birthday, my boyfriend takes me on a trip. I know, ladies, I'll get into how to get a man like that. And this year, he took me to Paris, Vienna, Budapest, and Prague. Well, this is December 2019 when travel was allowed. So. I was determined to try the flagship store in Paris and the flagship store has a process in which you have to uh, go on their website, give your password number and they will let you know after 7 p.m. if you get an appointment for the next day. So I have two passports. I tried. I tried my boyfriend's password number as well and we got the same as you can see the screenshots here. You get the same automated appreciate and we thank you for your keen interest. But unfortunately, due to demand, we can't accommodate you. So I, I understood that. I knew that was going to happen. But even though we continued our journey to the other cities, I was still determined. And I still tried, even though I was not going to be in Paris, I tried every day, three passports total, to try to get an appointment. All rejected, all rejected. So now we arrived at Prague and I was absolutely determined to get a Birkin despite all the negativity around me. If my boyfriend said, the reality is you might not get a Birkin. I was very focused. We had our buckwheat pancakes, we went to the store. I had my cappuccino in me, I knew it, I'm getting a Birkin in the store. So we went in the store, it was a two floor, we started roaming around and we were approached by a woman. She asked what she can help us with and I said, I need a scarf. And I said, I need a scarf for my Kelly. I knew that there's two different systems, American and also European, and they don't have one unified system of what I knew. So I knew that I could just say that. She sold me some scarves and I said, is it possible that I could look at the back to see how it would look? She absolutely very quickly said, we have no Birkin, we have no Kelly. So I was again felt a little defeated, but I said, is there something I can just take a look at to see how the color of the scarf would look on the back? So, step one on how to get a Birkin bag is go to a city that has enough wealth to have a Birk uh, Hermes store in the town, but not enough so that the demand is so high. So Prague was the perfect storm of those two categories. Two, acknowledgeable enough that you have a Birkin or a Kelly, be a little nonchalant, not too forceful of saying, I want a Birkin or I want a Kelly. To go forward with my story, she took us to the elevator, went downstairs, and there was another sales associate there and another lady. And she showed us a Birkin that was not for sale and it was reserved for another lady. It was not a color that I wanted or a size, but she wasn't even offering at this time at, at, at that time at all. It was a size 35 and it was not in a bright color that I was looking for. And we just put the scarves and we're just looking around and I said, oh, this would be good. Like, like as if it's for my Kelly, my invisible Kelly dear, I do not have. And the lady said that the associate, the, the other associate told her that the lady that came in actually did not want the bag so they could offer us the bag. So at that moment, finally, the moment of them offering the bag had came. It is now the time that they're offering the Birkin bag to us. And I was elated and shocked. I was in a moment like I had something else in my mind, but this was gorgeous. It was in this beautiful beige, a grayish, grayish tone with mahogany, very modern. Uh, and the, the, the color had this, this graininess to it. It was in a palladium hardware. And I was, I was absolutely hooked. I knew I had to have this bag. I did not care about the price, but I knew when you score one in the store, the resale value was
Step three is if they offer you a bag, you take it because you know the resale value of these bags are so, so high that even if your heart doesn't absolutely love it, you can resell it. This is my beautiful Birkin size 35 in completely gorgeous calf skin Togo leather. Grisatan 8F is the code. It's a soft grayish, it's called pewter gray with mahogany undertone as you can see here. It's a very elegant bag that you can style at nighttime for, for dinner dates. It's a very work appropriate bag, bag as well. It is just divine. Looking at the investment value of these bags, you can see, to be completely transparent, I got this US dollars around $8,900. Uh, you also get the tax free around I got $1,600. So all in all, if you're looking at a bag that you're spending seven to $8,000, the resale on this bag when I came to Beverly Hills, went to a luxury exchange store, they offered $23,000 for it. So you see the quick flip if you can really get these bags, if you want it as an investment purpose, to summarize on how to get a Birkin bag. Step one, go to a city that has enough wealth to have an Hermes store, but not enough so that you have too much demand. Step two is having enough knowledge when you talk to a sales associate and pretend that you have a Birkin or a Kelly if you must, but don't be too overwhelming. I want a Birkin, I want a Kelly, have the knowledge. Step three, if they offer you a Birkin bag, you take that. Because whether it is for an investment reason or for a collecta collectible, you know that these bags have high, high investment resale value. And I hope that this summarizes how to get a Birkin and some quick, quick steps. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe and let me know if this was a good summary on how to score a Birkin bag. Thank you.